so what is up people welcome to the new video and in this video we will see how we can install and set up jenkins on a gcp compute vm so this is a blog and you can follow this and we have all the documentation how you can set up jenkins on a gcp vm so we have multiple ways to do it so one is uh, through the console uh, we can go to the gcp console and we can start creating a vm and then we can uh, install jenkins on that and we can set up jenkins right another thing we can use terraform and we can also use gcloud command right so let's see how you can set up jenkins on a gcp compute vm so first of all let's see let's go to our default vpc network that you have already in your gcp project so in this you need to create a gcp firewall a vpc firewall rule here that will be uh, i will name it uh, like jenkins ci and we had added a tag here jenkins so every vm instance that will have this tag this networking tag jenkins so this will have this firewall rule right so and in this i am assigning it like i am exposing all the ports right so our jenkins will run on 8080 port and so you can also add that 8080 port here instead of all right so now let's go to the compute engine to vm instances just click on create instance just name it like jenkins server okay you can keep all the things as same as it is now here you can say allow https traffic go to advanced options in networking you can add a new networking tag that is jenkins so that it can access it can have or uh, that firewall rule that is that we created for jenkins right so now one way is to one we can first we launch the instance then we can set up all the things we can install the dependencies like we can install the tools like git or jenkins and we can set up jenkins the another one is you can add a startup script here so when this instance will be booted up so this startup script will be executed and our jenkins will be installed right so in this block i have this script so you just need to add this script here and after adding this script you don't need to do anything just click on create right So let's wait for uh, booting this uh, VM. So in uh, one or two minutes, it will be started. Okay, so now it has started. Now what you can do, just go to this instance, this VM, now click on login. So in the logs, you can check the logs of your startup script. So is that running? Is that successful or not? Right. So here you can see this is a startup script that is running here. Here are all the logs, right? You can see. So just wait, let it install Jenkins completely. Here it is unpacking some dependencies. Okay, so it's installing JDK. Now here you can see it is setting up Jenkins, right? So now I assume that my Jenkins is set it up correctly. Now what we need just to go below here and just copy this external IP address, right? Just paste it here, add 8080 port here. And yeah, now here you can see your Jenkins is ready. Now it's saying uh, if you don't know the password, so how you can check, you check your password inside this directory, this file, right? So how we can get the password, just go to this instance and just click on SSH. So just wait for at least one minute. In one minute it will be started. 
we can connect uh, to our instance so now we are connected to our instance using ssh now let me So now what you need to do is we have copied that file path already from the Jenkins. Now you just need to run this command sudo cat this. Now you get the password, right? Just copy this password from here and add it here in the administrator password. Just continue. You can click on this installed suggested plugins. So our suggested plugins will be installed. So let's wait for some some minutes. So it it will install all the plugins that are like suggested by Jenkins itself. So now you can see our suggested plugins are installed inside Jenkins. So now it's saying create first admin user. So I will say let's say admin and I will add a password here. Full name admin. Save and continue. Add uh, any email address. Let's say admin example dot com. Jenkins URL just save and finish now it's saying Jenkins is ready you can start using your Jenkins right so now our Jenkins is set it up completely on this VM and you can start using Jenkins you can create any pipeline here or anything you want as a new item so yeah so this was a tutorial how you can set up Jenkins on a GCP VM. So just in the same way, if you want to use Jenkins on AWS EC2 instance, so you can use the same way and use, using the same script, you can also set up Jenkins on AWS EC2 instance as well, right? So thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you found the content valuable. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.